All right, continuation of the Tesla Model F Explained series. Um, I just finished up uh, talking about the possibility of using a Model S uh, or running your home off a Model S. Possible, but not the best idea. Um, emergencies, of course. Uh, but now we are going to do figure. As long as I'm building a solar panel, why not talk about uh, the potential of putting one on a Model S? In general, the cost to benefit makes it stupid at most. Uh, the Model S is too big, too heavy, and consumes way too much power for something like these to be able to put anything of value back into. At a, in a reasonable course of time. Maybe if you lived on a small tropical island where you only at most drove 500 feet a day, well hell yeah, it would make sense. You'd never have to plug the thing in. But in terms of a Tesla, power consumption too high, efficiency of solar panels too low, overall surface area of the, cell, of the Model S is too low, enough to make anything of use. Now, let's see. Let's give you an example. I'm building this solar panel right here. Uh, this ha will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 24, 48 solar cells. Uh, these are fairly efficient solar cells. Uh, it was model crystalline. I'm remembering my cells correctly. Uh, the efficiency of these is fairly high. Uh, some of the highest uh, solar cell, so, uh, highest uh, efficiency solar panels you can get. Of course, unless you're NASA or SpaceX putting them on a space station. Uh, but uh, uh, okay, where was I? Okay, 48, 48 cells. Each cell is 5 watts. When I'm done, this will be a 12 volt panel, plus or minus a fraction of a volt. Um, also, depending on, you know, how much sunshine is hitting it. I could probably fit four of these. Nah. Three of these on the Model S. I forgot the uh, trunk hatch is just too small. Possibly, now, obviously, I'm not. This is all hypothetical, as uh, I'm not actually going to do that. It look like shit. But if you could make it look good, and put it on a Model S, so it looked right. Uh, now the Fisker had a solar powered roof um, as well. I think they were charging five grand um, for that solar roof. Now. The rated EPA rated range on the Model S is based on approximately 290 watts per, per mile. Remember, I said this is going to be about a 120 watt solar panel. So once I get this tab on here. Grab my handy dandy Apple phone. So 120 watts times three panels. Now, summer, your 120, or excuse me, two, your rated range is uh, going to be driving at approximately 50, I think it was 55 miles an hour. No heat, no air conditioning, nothing turned on. Uh, obviously, depending on how you drive, uh, the turbines. Uh, how much power you're drawing. Uh, if I can get three of these on a Model S, I would produce 360 kilo, uh, excuse me, 360 watts per hour in the sunniest direct sunshine. So maybe if I lived in sunny South Florida, uh, but I don't. I live in Wisconsin, but hypothetically, let's say I lived in sunny South Florida or in, uh, in uh, California. Uh, 
Yeah, there we go, California. Because I, I think, well, when I was there for like 13 days, I think I saw one cloud the whole time. It was just like a little puff, almost like someone bent over, lit a fart and fire, and it was made a tiny little puff of smoke up in the sky. That was pretty much the extent of the cloudage. So we'll say I live in sunny South California with almost no clouds. Beautiful sunshine all day. Um, I'll say uh, we get approximately 8 hours of sunshine a day. So 360 watts times 8 hours would produce 2.8 uh, kilowatts. And uh, this is also taking into, not taking into consideration inefficiencies. 2.88 kilowatts uh, divided by 290. Remember EPA rated range. Not too many people hit EPA rated range unless you really actually try. Um, in Wisconsin, where during the winter time, I'm averaging about 380 to 400 watts per mile. During the summertime, I was getting right about 290 to 300. I'm let's just say I'm really good at driving for range. But at EPA rated, eight hours in the sunshine, you're getting 9.93 miles of additional range per day. That's if your whole hood was covered in these cells, and your your uh, the the roof of the car. Uh, so approximately three three of these panels. Um, don't forget, you got to factor in inefficiencies. Uh, charging inefficiencies, you're going you're to have to do a DC to DC conversion and bump these cells. This, each cell is putting out uh, uh, 12 volts, so let's just say 12 times 3 should be 36. So 36, uh, higher the voltage, more efficient, plus you don't have to, to do a DC to DC conversion of to as high, um, you know, as big of a jump. 12 volts to 300 and something and going into the pack is a bigger jump than than 36 volts. Yeah, 36 volts can be done cheaper. Now that's given perfect sunshine. Obviously if you're in Wisconsin, I'd probably cut that in half. So, after inefficiencies, we're probably talking more like 7 miles range per day. Uh, now the cost to do this is going to be a couple thousand. And, uh, uh, just, it's, 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 it's ludicrous. You, you're better off for the cost to be able to do this um, and still make the car look like a decent car. Now, you know, if you're, if you're, if you got your geometric conversion or, uh, I did an Alfa Romeo and I think I could do it, just the roof would look good. But now that's a conversion that only has 15, 20 mile range. Uh, you know, you drive a few miles to work, park it, drive a few miles home. That's a little different. Um, in fact, probably really wouldn't, after the inefficiencies of even the lead-acid batteries, I probably wouldn't be gaining anything uh, range-wise, at least not too much. Uh, where the real gain would be for that car would be the additional juice would keep my lead-acid batteries from sulfating, which is the killer of lead-acid batteries. I think it's time for a new soldering iron tip. There we go. Keep the uh, it would keep my lead acid batteries from sulfating. But as long as you keep your car charged up and topped off every night, you're really not going to have that much of a trouble, anyways. But on uh, something like a top Model S. Or even a Nissan Leaf or a Ford Focus EV or a RAV4 or a shitty Volt. Uh, the cost to do it is going to be so astronomical. And all it takes is one cell to be damaged out of all of them. And it's all junk. you gotta redo, you got to redo that one cell and it's not going to be easy. Because to get to conform with the vehicle you're going to have clear coating, acrylics, all this. It's going to look like crap. Uh, maybe if whoever's making that solar paint does a pretty good job of it, and we can still have it whatever color car we want, and maybe if you got the money to blow. What? Oh, thank you. Go fishes.
fish crackers. Mm. What you would be better off doing? Take that money you would have spent putting a solar panel on your car. Put it on the roof of your house. Um, you'd be able to, for five grand. Well, let's just double it. Okay. Fisker had a panel about this, uh, maybe a little smaller than this, on the roof of their car. They charged five grand for it. For ten grand, I could have a three or four kilowatt system, UL listed. So obviously, this is not UL listed, so I can't legally put this on my house if I did. And uh, if something were to happen, my insurance would not pay out. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Who am I kidding? When did telling a three-year-old not to touch ever actually stop them from touching? Never. So for ten grand, I could have a, a three, four, five, six kilowatt system, depending on who you go to, and if it's any tax incentives, um, installed on my home. Problem solved. And uh, you'll gain a lot more. Plus, uh, if it's a grid tie system, uh, when your car is not charging, uh, power is going to counteract what's being used in your home. Plus, since you're doing most of your charging at night, you're actually selling the power back to the power company at a higher cost than what it, you're, you're paying for it at night. So you could actually wipe out a daytime electrical issue. Jane! So, technically, it, it would it help? Yeah, if money was no object, would I put a solar panel some of some sort, and, and I could make it look good on the roof of my car? Heck yeah, why not? At the very most, or very least, it would stop some of the vampire losses um, that the car accumulates during the daytime when it's not in use. At the very least, or at the very most then, uh, I get a few extra miles range per day. But that's only if money was no object. But right now, money is an object. And because it is an object, I am not doing it. I'm just going to continue to pay five cents per kilowatt hour at night. And once I figure out if I'm going to live in this house for 20 more years or not, I either will or will not put solar panels on the roof of this house. I would really like to, but I'm not going to spend 10 or 15 grand to do so because I'm not going to just put a 2 kilowatt system up there. If I do it, I'm going to do a big system. And uh, I want to make sure I'm going to be here for a long time. And I do not know if I will be or not. I might move. So, I'm going to figure that out first. Uh, let's see. I guess that's all I really have to say on that matter of the subject. Uh, if they could increase, on average, solar cells are only about 14 to 18 percent efficient. So that means out of the light that hits them, they can only create about 14 to 18 percent, convert that into uh, Daddy screwed this one up. It's great. What? It's It's great. It's Or did I? It's 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 Yes. Okay. I don't understand what you're saying. I'll have to figure that out. I think I can still use that one. I did the wrong side. I think if I trim that. But, yeah. Anyways, don't even bother with a solar panel on your car. Hey, please stop. Say hi. Yeah, say hi. Wave to your fans. Hi. Everybody loves you. Hi. Do something. Hi. Do something cute. Uh, ha, ha. Do something cute. Uh, hi. Uh, say hi, Jean. George? Are you hiding my tools? 
Oh, there's another one down there? Oh, you... So, I think I'm going to cut this one to an end as usual. I appreciate ideas for videos. If you have questions... Yes, I can't think of everything on the spot. If you have questions, just post them in the comment section. You guys all know I pretty much respond to everything. Uh, if you're in Wisconsin and are thinking of purchasing... Excuse me. If you're thinking of purchasing a Model S or we have a Model S, please go to teslaowners.com and uh, join our Wisconsin chapter of the Tesla Owners Club. Damn. Ah, carbon. Ah, Tesla Owners Club. That's it. I think I'm just going to get this thing done. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Meatball. No. Uh-uh. No. Don't unravel the whole thing. Go on, go watch George. What'd you do? Really? You got hurt by a cardboard box. Okay, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye.